Hey everybody, uh, it's Bust, continuing our Path of Champions playthrough, and today we are doing battle with Bard and Lulu's The Strange Symphony. And so, uh, since the previous video has happened, we did get a level up on Bard. He has the one-star ability now, which is when you summon an ally uh, with buff stats, it gets a random keyword. And so, uh, big boosts to all of our units coming on board, still champion level 15. Uh, and then we're running with the Stalker's Blade, the strikes an opposing unit when it comes into play. And then we're using the Z-Drive prototype to pick up some rerolls. And so, with that being that, let's go ahead and jump on in, see if we can't have a delightful battle with Lulu. Look at that. Why does it keep doing this? I was clicking the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> life, life can be hard. I still can't manage to, to click everything right. It takes me forever to realize how to s figure out how to swap a champion and everything, but... It'll come together with due time, I'm sure. So, all right, on to the battles. Let's see what powers turn up. You know, as it stands, we do like to uh, pick up the ones that let us cheat on mana, or we like to pick up the ones that help us level up our bard. Uh, that's not what we're seeing out of any of these, but uh, sharing is caring is going to be quite good here with our uh, boosted units catching a random keyword and then deploying that keyword to all the rest of our units. I, I think this is a reasonable one to go ahead and start with. Okay, on to the sparring student. I ain't scared. I feel like we'll get through this one pretty good. What does he do? I think his ability applies to everyone, right? No, he just doesn't have an ability at all. Wrong sparring student. Okay. <laughs> but as you as you saw in the previous videos, we will uh, hard mulligan for both bird and for stone stackers. And then uh, we'll, we'll accept Esmeth, uh, but it's not a preferred start. Bandle Commando is not really a preferred start either. Yeah. So many impacts. Got so much shit on him already. Like, it, I, I don't think he started with all this. <laughs> he had the Skirmisher Saber, right? He picked up two abilities. Why did we get two? When you summon an ally with buff stats, grant is a keyword, right? Did he grant impact to himself? He had impact too. Interesting. Alright. Well, the Starlit Stag has boosted stats. <laughs> Let's see what ends up here. He picked up Elusive Spell Shield. Oh my gosh, this run's gonna be bonkers. I, I, I can't imagine that we're gonna have too much trouble here today. I thought that this was gonna be a pretty easy one since we're on a one-star quest with a one-star champion, but... Oh man, we are about to plow through this done <laughs> all right let's see how quickly we can power through this you might get to call this one a speed run and more more so than a uh, a general strategy kind of thing all right off to the champions let's get something cheap uh we got to do this first i don't really want any of these the sentry's kind of understated i don't want any of these cards Although the balladeers summoning another balladeers and then them having all of the keywords on each other, that's a little excessive. That seems kind of strong. I just don't really like adding three drops to our deck. Let's see if we can't find something cheaper. Emperor's Prosperity is kind of interesting. The, the problem with Emperor's Prosperity is it's not going to ever have stats on it, right? We can get stats on our Ruthless Raider. We can't get stats on the Prosperity. All right, puff cap thing or stun thing. We should be able to run through the, the puff cap thing a little bit faster. Their champion. These are interesting, though, with the Ruthless Raider coming out of the Sejuani, and we already have one. I can get behind that. We can just try and stack the Ruthless Raiders today, and then Sejuani's fine. Uh, she had the free attack ability there, and so uh, kind of interesting thing that can happen with her, just playing her and getting the free attack and then... Uh, getting a real attack afterwards onto the uh, onto the vulnerable unit. All right, we're counting on you today, Ruthless Raider. You are the uh, the the key to our success. Got to get you boosted with some stats. I'm curious if there's a point to where we shouldn't uh, we we shouldn't try to put any more units in our deck just to try and. Focus in where the chimes land. 
I, I haven't thought of that in terms of a, a way to kind of like approach Bard, but like I, I don't want these kind of like middling garbagey units in our deck, and so uh, I, I think that's kind of an interesting way to to kind of focus in the the Bard ability so it doesn't hit you know. I would rather put like three chimes on one unit than one chime on three units. Right, well, I mean, we can just pick up the spell shield overwhelm and probably end the game, but this Ruthless Raider just got boosted. Let's see. Let's see what he spreads to everyone. All oh, elusive. Fun and interactive. <laughs> You're dead. You're dead, Puff Cat Pup. Cruising right along. All right, we got an encounter. What's going to turn up? Oh my god, this stuff keeps coming at us. <laughs> I felt like this should all be all be kind of over with at this point. I'm done. I'm done picking cards. Let's just get into the battles. Monastery of Harana. I don't need to heal. Cut all copies. Let's remove the mini morphs. It's very expensive. Okay. Kelp of Maidens. Add a random. At the round start, add a random card to our hand that costs two or more. So they're adding a bunch of expensive stuff to our hand. Interesting. Alright, maybe we hold on to one Ruthless Raider. It's like. It's a little tough with the sequencing as to where I want to get, like, Overwhelm on all of our units, but it is nice to deliver an impact uh, out there as well. Oh, a random card in the player's hand costs two more. I was, like, wondering why our cards got more expensive. Okay, I, I see what's happening there now. I, I thought it was, like, adding cards to our hand. I thought that was, like, I was like okay, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> if you're just wanting to give me a bunch of free cards, by all means. Okay, so we'll start with Bird. We can play two units this turn. Oh, he counts as having bonus stats even without the chimes because of the pickaxe. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, I guess we could have survived through that, but... It's not a big deal. We could have uh, hook, hooked it onto our tough unit here. I'm still kind of like trying to grasp all of the weird shit that our units do. <laughs> okay, easy game. Got all these impacts in here. We're going to hit for like 70. 16, pretty close. My math wasn't that far off. <laughs> GG, Kelp Maidens. More birds? Easy take, easy take. Love adding in that one drop in here. Uh, I mean, I guess we can add copies of the, the Tusk Speakers. I don't really want it, though. Like, I'm happy enough with it just, like, starting in our opening hand. I'm going to skip over all these. I don't want to I don't want to clog up our deck too much here. don't really want any of these. We have free rerolls. Let's see if we can't get something cheap out here real quick. The Mana Gem Mighty Poro is not bad, but... I think I want the cheaper things. Sure, we'll take the we'll take the power. That was the uh, uh, your strikes reduce your opponent's power. I don't think we'll actually need it this run, but uh, might as well take it. Let's go battling. What up, Fizz? I hope you're ready for this overwhelming crew coming at you. So much power coming at you, my dude. Thought we, I thought we weren't going to have a an early play. We at least found a bird here at the end. Lame.
This is it now here trying to have fun. It is nice being able to put uh, Elusive on all of our units with both Esmith and with uh, the Bandle Commando. Fairly powerful ability. We're just going to have to take this damage here, but we're going to start popping off after this turn. Interesting picking up Scout. It gets, uh, gets applied to all of our units. We aren't quite good enough in combat, uh, but we, we should be able to get some, some usage out of the stone stackers here. Bird turns up. I right. slightly awkward with our our bard not having having bonus stats just yet, but it'll be okay. Playful trickster. Needed those bonus stats, bruh. Alright, things will start to pop off now, though. I ain't scared of you, Fizz. Things are about to get real. Is this the turn where we want to give our team elusive? Probably not. We pick a Fury. Not that interesting. Let's end with Overwhelm. We'll get Overwhelm from Bird. Uh-oh. I didn't see that prank coming, Fizz. You were right. Are any of these attacks even any good? <laughs> I think I think we can probably safely hit with everything, but who even has Challenger? God, there's so much going on here. I I don't want to get the Esmith really involved. If he wants to pick and choose a block on it, that's fine, but I'd prefer it to uh, not be in combat here. Pretty close to lethal, like with the Sejuani coming down. This big, overwhelming free attack. Oh, she picked up life steal. We're gonna just heal after this, uh, a after this battle, anyways. But could have been, could have been necessary. All right, that should be enough to end with the starlit seer or the starlit stag. You should be afraid, Fizz. You should be. Got him. The Witch's Claw Triumph! All right, give us a new power that we don't need. <laughs> I'm ready for it. It is interesting with the Savage Shield. I'm going to go with the Ancient Coin to make Bard cheaper, but uh, it, working with the like the abilities to where he comes down with the boost and then spreading the boost, uh, the, the keyword boost out to everyone. I'm kind of interested in that, but here, we'll take the battlefield training. This helps level up our, var our bard very quickly. Tasty Fae Folk, I think that's some kind of heal thing. Let's find out. Got to collect all these encounters so that we can update the site with them. All right, y'all know the drill. We didn't have any of our good ones or twos. A little better. These like the the cosmic bindings aren't horrible, 
right? They, they work pretty well with all of our overwhelm units. We just haven't really found a spot to where uh, we needed it. it. It can punch in, you know, quite an excessive amount of damage, so... Alright, there come all the abilities. You're about to get wrecked with the Catalyzer. <laughs> this is not, not going to be a challenging one. Anyway, that's what we like to see. All the birds. All the Ruthless Raiders. All right, well, I guess if we need to Cosmic Binding, we got it. But th this should be enough with Lethal on the board. We we have the ability to make, like, a big scout attack and then come in and redo some stuff, but... Right, are we gonna... Oh, we're mana short? Oh, fuck. There goes the speedrun, am I right? <laughs> I, just, uh, I just assumed it was over. Well, dang. opponent laughing at us, just sitting there at one. <sighs> okay. Slay your spells, Twisted Catalyzer. Seven damage darkness, damn. I didn't even see what was happening for that to get boosted. Oh, it just uh, it gets boosted every turn. Alright, we'll make the scout attack that matters this time. That should do it, right? G G. All right, onto the tasty faithful. We'll see what you got. I guess we can take the overwhelm. I mean, it's a. I don't feel like we need to pass out the overwhelms with the elusives, but. Couldn't hurt. All right, increase max health or make a friend where you get a tasty fey folk. All right, we'll just take the max health. I don't feel like it matters. Hit up the shop. Everything here is expensive. Refresh. Could go for a bone scryer. Don't think that's what we want. Disarm, sure. Enemies have neg one attack. Cruising right along. I'm going to skip the shop. We just spent all of our money, so we'll take this item chest path. Everybody starts with a mirror mage. Our mirror mage is going to get good quick. Uh... Loading up with all these keywords. Bird coming in to save the day. Cool. We hit fearsome. All right. We'll definitely get a boosted unit since we hit Bird. I assume that's who we want to play this turn. Some Tufts and some Spell Shields and some Overwhelms. Squad's so strong. <laughs> I guess there is an argument to wait before we play the boosted unit since it's going to give stats to everybody, but... I don't know. Our, our board's just getting so good. We're going to give everyone elusive here, and that looks like it might be lethal. Pretty close. 14, 18, 19. Yeah. Assuming he doesn't have anything to interact with us. Planned it that way. I did the finger math. You didn't, you didn't see it, but... <laughs> I was doing the math, calculating the lethals and everything. Uh, I don't want any of these. We'll, we'll just take another Cosmic Binding. The Plunder makes it kind of nice, uh, being a little bit cheaper. 
These cards all suck. Uh, Esmuth free attacking isn't great. Colossal Hammer is big enough for him, I guess. We could have just skipped it, but okay with it. I don't need any of those cards, so we'll heal. On to battle with Lulu. Oh, Pleased to meet you, Lulu. Like you're about to take a serious beating. <laughs> Reasonable enough start. Quick attack is nice. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter since his units are so small, but it works fantastically with the enfeebling strike. So you get the quick attack, your opponent gets their attack reduced, and then they hopefully just, if you don't win the combat outright, then they uh, then they don't have anything to hit you back with. All right, get us with that zero attack, uh, young witch. Appreciate it. don't think we'll be dropping Bard this turn. Uh, I'm looking to play Bird and then give everyone Elusive. And Lifesteal. Yeah, that's easy. Easy game. Alright, should be able to get it on our next attack. Sure, let's block let's block some stuff, right? Gotta emote that one. Cupcake it. That was that was not a favorable attack there, Lulu. You dead. Alright, so we're about to crush it. I was like, I saw him playing cards, and I was like, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did we miss it by a damage again? Not this time. We made our way through. And so, it was uh, it was fairly light on the strategy, this one. More of a uh, sort of pseudo speed run, if you will. But uh, I feel like a lot of the concepts that we've had in the, uh, the initial videos that we're kind of building up to uh, really apply here. We're still just punching through every game, uh, trying to search for one drops, two drops, and then spells. And then... Um, in terms of uh, the powers, you want the things that either let you cheat on mana or uh, level up your bard, like we had here with the, uh, what do you call it, with the battlefield training. And so we, we did kind of speed through that one. Uh, I, I felt like it was going to be pretty easy given our uh, champion levels and everything, and it was. But uh, things are going to start getting a little bit more progressively challenging as we start to find our way into the, uh, the two-star battles and greater. And so hope you stick around for them, but that... It's going to do it for this one. We hope everyone has a good day out there.